Hello internet and welcome to a 16 gigabyte Commodore and Amiga only image. Over 6,000 titles though, those systems were kind of the, the, the big era where you just had these massive releases of games. Um, and a lot of these games are great. They started a lot of series, um, a lot of history here, and I know a lot of you like these uh, particular systems. Now, the reason I like that it's only 16 gigabytes is it opens up the idea that you could go ahead and buy a four pack of SD cards. And so you can have like an SD card with Nintendo on it, an SD card with Sega consoles on it, and then you can have this SD card. And because they use different kind of configurations and controls, each one could be configured differently for your Raspberry Pi, and then you just hot swap, not hot swap, but you'd have to turn off your Pi, but you could just swap in and out these SD cards. And a lot of people ask me about these purpose-built images, and uh, Commodore and Amiga, especially Amiga, are a little harder to set up as far as the emulators. So to have this all ready for you and, and purpose-built, I think a lot of people are gonna like this. So from Dar Zone, 16 gigabyte, uh, Commodore 64, Amiga-only image. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, it will prompt you for your controls. Go ahead and set that up. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Um, the file size itself, if you're wondering if it's gonna fit on your little 16, it's only 14.8 gigabytes at 15,987,638,000 bytes. Um, I have it on a 32 gigabyte, so basically I could add more games, add some emulators if I want, or I could leave it as is. And uh, some really cool things just right off the bat is it does have Easy Hacks Toolkit pre-installed. Um, it has a bunch of background music pre-installed. Um, you know, the Wi-Fi does work. Um, inside the toolkit, you have even more stuff. And there's actually only one thing you need to do when you boot up, or a couple things. Number one is you probably want to hook up a keyboard. A lot of these games require a keyboard or are best played on a keyboard as those were you know, what they were originally set up for. Um, and then the other thing is you do have to fix the Amiga CD game. So when you get to an Amiga CD game, you can launch it. And uh, for example, here we go, Alien Breeds, it's, you can see it's a CD32. Um, let's just go ahead and launch that really quick so you could see exactly what you need to fix. Uh, and it's not really a fix, it's just something that, from my understanding, you cannot pre-configure. So it is something you have to manually go in and set up. So I hit select an X on my Xbox 360 controller, and I'm just gonna use my keyboard now. And if you go over here to chipset, you just wanna hit AGA, okay? And then you can go all the way down, or go left, left, keep hitting left. Can we get all the way to the bottom here? We wanna get to, there we go. We wanna get to reset there, and then uh, go ahead, or yeah, we'll do reset. And then it should load. And we can just actually config, confirm that that did change. See, now it's on AGA. So now I'm just going to hit resume at this point because we reset it already. I just want to show you that that was now set. And uh, this game should load. Again, this is going to work for uh, Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B+. Plus. Um, these are CD-based games, so this isn't really lag as much as just, you know, this is how these games run, you know. And uh, this particular game, I think, works with your controller. You might, you probably don't need a keyboard for this particular game. Yeah, I'm gonna die here.
Smart card message follows. <laughs> Alright, so we loaded a CD game. Let's try a non CD game. Great game here. And again, we should be able to use our controller. Now, really great game. I have to say the main version uh, is a little nicer as far as graphics, and things like that. But the overall game is uh, similar. And it's really cool when you go into uh, buildings. I wonder if we can go into buildings on this version. Oh my god, these aliens are destroying me. Energy. Definitely. Needs to work, Reinforcements have arrived. All right, cool. Get out of my kitchen. All right, maybe we've got a store here. the store. This part's cool. I mean, this is before Terminator 2. Ooh. Continue. All right, start select out. So the start select works good in exiting those games. And then as far as Commodore 64, Ah, so we have the Commodore 64 Mini, and then we have the Commodore 64. Zone dropping another really cool image with a ton of classic games over 6,000 and as I mentioned earlier in the video purpose-built you know those old-school computer-based systems really nice stuff all set up for you you know these are often a little more intimidating setup so really nice you can always add more to it change it whatever the case may be but um, I think there's definitely a need for it. I, I haven't seen one in this small, compact, and to the point. Um, also on the newest version of Stretch, as I mentioned, so no matter what Raspberry Pi 3 you have, you know, this should work no problem. Um, no need to overclock this or anything like that, but again, you're going to want a keyboard for the Commodore 64 games. Um, and then that small little fix in the beginning. So with all that said, going to give this one an A. 
not a lot of competition in that realm, but uh, you know, you got the bezels on Commodore, um, you got all the, the tools and the scripts pre-installed for you. So it's a really nice starter image, really nice thing to get you started in these really, really old retro games. When I say really, really old, I mean comparative, relatively uh, old. So with all that, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.